and we're talking boxing here and I want to talk about the fight uh, it's been a while but uh, it warrants being talked about again and that's the 2005 May the 7th fight between Diego Corrales and Jose Luis Castillo now this was a fight for the lightweight title the WBO WBC unification fight in the lightweight division and uh, pick up the action around 10 you can see it on you YouTube just type in Diego Corrales and you'll see that fight it's been viewed a lot of times so most of you probably seen it but it's one of those things like a good movie man it never gets old you can watch it over and over I watched it several times here today and it's just a phenomenal round of boxing and isn't that the way life is sometimes you know sometimes you're doing things and you're with a team and you can depend on other people like kind of like in football and you achieve a common goal but there's other times it's just man to man oh it's man to man and you got to do battle and there is no better way to describe that than this round of boxing you pick up the action in round 10 and both fighters come out and you can tell they have been in a war but they ain't quitting they ain't stopping they're battling they ain't wimps they're battling it out battling it out and then Castillo lands some blows and puts Corrales on the floor and you think Corrales is in big trouble and he is but he loses the mouthpiece and he goes over and gets the mouthpiece again in the corner comes back out and his trainer you know it's funny almost to see this trainer because he doesn't look like he's really that concerned about his fighter he just says hey you gotta go after him and he goes out there and man Corrales if he doesn't get dumped again man boom dropped again to the mat and you're thinking if you're watching this fight for the first time you're thinking this thing is about to be over it's over and you're wondering why maybe the ref doesn't even stop the fight but then when he comes back he even gets a point deducted for losing his mouthpiece for the second time but he comes back and he takes a couple more shots from Castillo Corrales does and his eye is almost swollen shut but then he tags him a couple he tags Castillo with a couple of fights and these guys throughout the fight man are just one they're in there and they're, there's no dancing going on man it's just battle battle fist punch punch and then Corrales lands a few blows of his own stuns Castillo and then he gets him up against the ropes and I mean there's an exchange there when it's all on the line and they are just sitting there boom 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 who's gonna win it who's gonna be the last man standing and believe it or not it's Corrales he tags him and you just see Castillo go wobbly in his head do like this and at that point Tony Meeks the referee of the fight at that time runs in well stop game over man fight over booyah Corrales is the lightweight champion of the world at that point and I mean it's something that you would not have believed and if you haven't seen that fight or if you haven't watched it in a long time watch it you won't be sorry and uh, unfortunately Corrales two years to the day of that great fight was killed in a motorcycle accident in Las Vegas and uh, you know it's sad the guy was 29 but he left us a great legacy with that round of boxing may he rest in peace you know uh, we're going to be talking a lot here we got a great fight coming up not too long from now and that's Pacquiao and Hatton I'm glad that fight came to fruition and we're going to be breaking it down we're going to be talking about it I think Pacquiao wins that fight but I think it's going to be a dangerous fight for him if he takes Hatton lightly I think Hatton can can put him down Hatton's a strong fighter strong puncher so Pacquiao has got to be cautious there if he wants to come out with a victory and then I hope the way this plays out is that Pacquiao beats Hatton and then Mayweather I hope Mayweather comes out of retirement because I want to see that fight and uh, Mayweather come on now you gotta get out of retirement that's a fight everybody wants to see you'll make plenty of money for it and I think your legacy if you don't fight that will be tarnished a bit because this this is the fight that everybody wants to see so I hope you come out of retirement and fight Pacquiao 
and I, I'm hoping that Pacquiao takes uh, Hatton, and because I think that'll put us in position to get a great fight. For now, this is Rousey. I'm out.